members, this is Emily coming to you with a demo of what you can do with mini bands. So mini bands can come in different colors that tell you the heaviness of the band, or sometimes it'll be by thickness. Um, so we have heaviest, a little bit less, medium, and light. These are actually pretty heavy bands, all of them. So I'm going to take the lightest one and demo a couple of moves for the upper body with this band. So our first move is going to work our triceps. You're going to bring opposite hand to shoulder, secure the band there, it's hooked around my thumb, and then from here I'm going to pull my hand down towards my hip, squeeze my tricep, I'm bracing my core while I'm standing here, and slowly release. With bands, the trick is to not let the band spring you around, because that's pretty easy, so I fight it on the way down, and I fight it on the way back up. Turn this into a full body move by adding a reverse lunge to that pull down. So I step back, I keep my chest lifted, I still squeeze my hand all the way to my thigh, and I stand it up. That way I'm getting a good burn in the quad of my front leg and the tricep of this opposite arm. Another good move for the triceps as well is gonna be an overhead tricep extension. So I'm still hooked by the thumbs. I take same hand to shoulder behind my head, from here I'm going to extend the arm up and overhead lock out at the elbow and then come back down. Again, moving nice and slow the whole time. If you want to intensify this without increasing the thickness of the band, you can come down to a kneeling position, working more the core upper body, taking the legs out of the equation. Whew, I feel that already. All right, and one final move for the upper body. We're going to go bicep curls of a hammer curl actually. So we're going to secure one arm, the same side of the body, and then from here we're going to curl same arm up to shoulder and back down. Contracting our bicep, really think about connecting with it, squeeze and hold and come back down slowly. So working our low body. First we're going to come feet under the hips or a little bit wider to start. Find our bottom part of a squat keeping our torso lifted, shoulders squeezing, and from here I'm going to try to stay low as I walk laterally and back, making sure I take the same number of steps on each leg. My leg that's leading is really pressing out against that band to make sure that band is not knocking my knee in. As I go, I step out and come back the other way, glutes on fire. Second move is going to be a clamshell side plank. So from my forearm, my shoulders, hips, and heels are in line with one another, my feet are stacked. Band is still around my knees. So I'm going to get a little activation in my core, and I'm going to open up my knees to work my outer glutes. So from here I exhale, press up, open my legs, squeeze, fight the band, and come back down. This hand can be here for balance if you'd like, or it can be on the hip. Wherever you're the most comfortable, and come back down. The more time you spend under tension fighting that band, the more effective this movement is gonna be. Also, the wider you can open your legs while fighting a heavy band, again, the more effective that movement will be. All right, our final movement is gonna be a plank that we walk from side to side. So find your steady, stable plank, press the ground away, puff up your upper back, tuck your tail, and then from here, take a step out, hand and foot, and back the other way. Same with our lateral squat walks. Same number of steps in one direction as the other. All right, have fun with those.